What is going on, my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Liu Kang in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Liu Kang, some best strategies, and of course, some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Take it one step at a time. Remember to subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get right into the goodies. Please pause your screen right here. This is gonna be the universal terms that we use when describing moves such as one, two, three, and four, just so everyone understands what's going on. Okay, so let's go over Liu Kang's movesets and the strings of moves you're probably gonna use most often and why. So right off the back, your back two, three combo, that right there is your air pop-up. You have other pop-ups like your forward one, four combo. That's a pop-up, sure, but for ground combos, if you wanna get in the air, you're gonna be using back two three a lot more so back two three jump up air combo there you go the only problem with that combo it's not a low or an overhead so it's kind of hard just to throw out there for fun it's not very safe so if you do miss or they block it you'll probably get punished your forward one four combo is decently safe it's not perfectly safe but it's better than your back two three Liu king has one overhead and that's three two that's an overhead, it's an ender, it's not a pop-up or anything like that, but it is an overhead, and it's your only overhead option. Besides your low hits like down three and down four, your forward one four combo is your only low. Good thing it's a pop-up combo starter, right? Speaking of the combos, you can do basically any special after that pop-up. So you can do forward one four, any special. Like your back forward four, your back forward three, your down back four. Liu Kang is a great rush down character to get in your face like this. He's also got a good zoning tool. It's a projectile. He's got a low projectile. That's back forward one. And then you have a down back one. You can enhance both of those as well. Keep in mind enhancing your back forward three this move. Without enhancing it, you go right to your opponent. So if they block it, you're in their face and you're very unsafe. So I really wouldn't throw that out there if I were you. But if you enhance it, you see it's kind of a pop-up, which we can actually use in combos. You don't have a ton of low options. Keep in mind your back four, your sweep here. It's pretty dang good. It's got good range as well. You see that there? Not like, not, not like amazing range, but it's pretty good. You have some combos like this, like I said, but what are some combo enders? I'll show you a couple options. You can do back two, three in a row, twice in a row, into something else. You can do back two, three, back two, three, back two into a special. Any special, really. And you can end those combos however you want to, really. You have 3-3-3 three, three, three as an option. You have 4-3 as an option. You also have 4-4-3-4. Four, four, three, four. Keep in mind, Luke King does have a teleport down back 4. And why that's good is you can hold back and stay close to yourself to kind of bait out an attack and then punish them. So you can make them think, I'm going to teleport, attack you, psych, and then go in for the attack if you don't want to commit to the teleport. I really love your back forward four special move here. The kicks, love that move. Keep in mind when you enhance it, you gain armor. And it looks sick. So it'd be a really good wake up option because you do gain the armor on that, even on wake up. Also side tip, Luke King's fatal blow is an overhead, which is great. So to recap, your forward one four is a great combo starter because it's a low. Your air pop up is your back two three. And you got a lot of good combo enders. Now real quick, we'll go over Liu Kang's aerial attacks as air combos. After your back two three ground combo, you can jump up. And you really have three options here. You have your deep impact, which is a, just a one two. Then you have your unstoppable one three four. Then you have two one two for the new future combo. You have more, yes, but most of the time you're gonna be completing all of these to the end. So you really, have, you really only got like, like three different options. Your one, two here, one, three, four, two, one, two. I've found personally that I enjoy one, three, four a lot more. It does the most damage most of the time, but any of these combos, you can experiment with your cameos that have air extension moves to help you play Liu Kang in the air however you want to play him. I'll show you all of them, of course, but let's start with the one, three, four here. One, three, four. The reason why I like that is because you can do your projectile in the air and you can do that after that combo. It does pretty good damage too for no meter burning, but you can do the 2-1-2 two, two as well. And then same thing. Over 300 damage on both of those combos using your air projectile. And then here's the 1-2 in the air. Not too shabby, I just prefer more damage. Because Liu Kang doesn't have a lot of overhead or low options, his best strategies are reading your opponent and punishing them accordingly. Throw an projectile to zone him out, get some good ship damage in there, teleport to catch him off guard, and then go for the lows. If you want to condition him to block overhead, throw out your 3-2 combo, 
They're gonna block overhead, then go for the low. If you want a good overhead starter, you're two in the air as an overhead, and then you can go back two, three after that. Three hundred and thirty damage with the jump in. Now for some fun and easy combos that you can use today. Let me know what you think of Liu Kang and Mortal Kombat 1 down below in the comments. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Subscribe here for more and take it one step at a time.